Hello, how are you? Welcome to See You, or where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and then correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans. And in this particular video, I will be speaking about the current protest in Nigeria, the end bad governance protest, which I think is just an, is an inspirational one for me. And this is because I relocated relocated back to Nigeria two years ago. And I've been inspired by this space, the energy of the youth, but I've felt the despair in them as well, because I've sensed a strong population generation that really want to use their talent and energy, but are blocked by a generation that has let, literally stolen their, stolen their future through corruption, through illicit acquisition of national funds. And, um, and I've wondered at one point there would be an explosion. And I saw this coming. I thought, no, this cannot continue. I've often admired my fellow Nigerians' resilience. Nigerians have an ability to bounce back from every situation. But I know there's a limit to that skill set. And sometimes resilience can let, you know, the corrupt ones get away with too much. So seeing the, 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 the end, end bad governance, protests unleashed August 1st and seeing the people came to the street, given the level of threat that they received, just made me, in, just got me inspired to say, yes, we got it. This is the beginning of great things to come. It might be rough for now, but we're going to stick with it. But given that I've walked around the world for quite a while, automatically I've been reflecting on the fact that a lot of the illicitly acquired funding from corrupt politicians in Nigeria are sent abroad. There's a very welcoming international community who receives stolen money from, from political politicians in Nigeria. And they're in order of priority. The United Kingdom is one of them. I was very young in my early teens, and I heard the story of Omaru Diko. Omaru Diko was, um, this, it made the news, it was a you know, diplomatic crisis between Nigeria and the UK, because Omar Diko was a, a former advisor of uh, uh, then President Shehu Shagari and became from 1979 to 1983, the Minister of Transportation. Now he stole about one billion and fled to the United Kingdom, which comes to about over 600 million pounds. The United Kingdom, most well, Nigeria was agitating that he should come back and face trial for the theft. No, the UK had no problem. They got about six hundred million dollar pounds in their in their account to build their own community, their own people. Now the Nigerian government, then you know, uh, uh, then it was a uh, Buhari, and um, in partnership with others, and try to basically bring him back. You no, know, they call it kidnapping, but they bring him back to Nigeria to face trial, and Nigeria failed. And it became a diplomatic hustle, quarrel, and, and all. But that tells a story. That tells a very critical story, too, about the willingness of the United Kingdom to house, you know, people who come with illicit, illicitly acquired, corruptly acquired funding from Nigeria into the UK. And I always say this, and I don't joke about it. Remember, you know, a former prime minister of the UK a few years ago, you know, standing in front of the late queen and said, oh, we have some fantastically corrupt, you know, people, Nigerians coming. You know, and he said that, and I said, no, it's not just fantastically corrupt, it's fantastically stupid. Because the pattern has been Nigerians who steal, politicians who steal from their people, take it to the UK for the rich to develop their people. Now, Omaru Diko was at the crisis, at least it's one of the most visible kind. Since then, we've had stories of a, a former governor of a Delta State who was jailed for 4.5 million. That's chicken change compared to what others take in. <laughs> you have a billion. But he was used as an example, just as a smoke screen, so that the, you, the, 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 the government of the United Kingdom, can, the, 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 the British government can say, oh, see, we're trying to stop this. And I'm saying this, please. All that return artifact, you took some acts from the Benin Kingdom, all that, that's not what I'm talking about. There's huge, the prime property in London right now are owned by corrupt politicians from Nigeria. Now, another place where it's become popular in the last UK, maybe the last 50 years. In the last 30 years, New York has been a prime location. 
And you know what? Dubai is just taken for granted. They are all over, all over Dubai. It's built by, they, I mean, yeah. Then, you who, guess who is scrambling to get on the show? Who is hustling to get on the table on the, on this, of, of housing illicit funds from Nigeria? Canada. That's what, that's where this comes in. I'm calling on the diaspora. The Nigerian diaspora should start asking questions in these countries where stolen funds have been stashed from Nigeria. If they can return artifacts, they should return the money. What happened to the six, six mil, six hundred million pounds that Omar Odiko stole from Nigeria to the UK? Omar Odiko died in 2014. Who kept the money? We know the former minister, minister of uh, petroleum, a woman who, who stole hugely too, and 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 is in is in London, is in, in is in the UK. What can we do to ensure that we make the recipi recipient countries of Nigerian stolen funds to start acting the way they act in their own country? You cannot receive stolen money. In, from Nigeria, in your country, because you will not receive stolen money from a public official, of, of, official in your country. We should start calling them to account. I would add to this. When a government of a country receives the leader of another country for three months of medical services, where's the money coming from? They should start making sure they provide medical services as a humanitarian service, as a humanitarian action. It should be a charitable case. So if you have a president of, of a country, let's say Nigeria, who goes to the UK to get medical services, he should not be able to pay from public funds because Nigerians are not able to access that level of medical services. If the if doctors, if the government of the UK want to provide that, they should not take a penny for that service. It should be a charitable act. I will focus more on seeing those countries who steal from, from, from Nigeria in partnership with pop political figures from in Nigeria because the receiver of a stolen good is a thief. If you have stolen money, you don't ask any question where it came from. And you know this is a public, a political figure, figure of a country comes into your country and stashes money in your country and you receive it you are a thief we should stop simply just talking about the the the, the, the yes we know the, the 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 political figures in nigeria who are thieves are primarily to blame but if they had nowhere to stash that money what would they do who are the countries around the world that are presently housing stolen money in their financial institutions and allowing political figures who steal money from Nigeria to invest in property in the West. These countries are number one, the United Kingdom, number two, New York, number three, Dubai, and number four, Canada is getting on the action. These are the four we know of now. So I'm calling on the diaspora there. We should find people who can investigate, ask questions, who, why are these countries receiving stolen money in their financial institutions and allowing stolen funds from Nigeria to be invested in their property, in their properties in their country? That is one question we need to ask. And this is part of the end bad governance in Nigeria. To end bad governance in Nigeria, we have to look at where the money is going to and hold the recipients of stolen goods, stolen funds from Nigeria to account because they are thieves too. Thank you.